solve the equation 3x squared minus xy equals to 0 and 2y minus 5x equals to 1. This is simultaneous linear and quadratic equation. This is the linear equation and this is the quadratic equation. It's a simultaneous equation. One is linear, one is quadratic. So for us to solve this, if we look at this equation, we can easily factor it. And then this is equation one, this is equation two. So from this equation one, we can factor it. We have x bracket open 3x minus y is equal to 0. 3x squared divided by x is what gives us 3x. And then xy divided by x is what gives us y. So once this has been factored and it's equal to 0, from there we can equate each of the brackets to 0. When we equate x to 0, each of these 10 now to 0. When we equate x to 0, we have x equals to 0. When we equate 3x minus y to 0, that will give us y is equal to 3x. From here, if we take y to the other side, it becomes positive y. So y will be equal to 3x from this uh, second part. Now, when we have these two, we now have x equals to 0. So when we substitute 0 for x, substituting 0 for x in equation 2. Don't forget, we have just finished using equation 1. So now go to equation 2. In equation 2, where we see x, we put 0. So we have 2y minus 5, zero, 5 times 0 is equal to 1. So 2y, this will become 0, is equal to 1. So y will be equal to half. Now we have the value of half. Now, substitute 3x for y in equation 2. You can see what we got as y. Y is equal to 3x. So we can go to equation 2. Anywhere we see y, we are going to put 3x. So we have 2y minus 5x equals to 1. 2, 3x, because y is 3x. So 2 multiplied by 3x equals to then minus 5 is equal to 1. And then this multiplied by this, we have 6x minus 5x equals to 1. And that will give us x is equal to 1. Then, because 6x minus 5x is 1, and so we have x equals to 1. Now, we can substitute the value of 1 for x in equation 3. This is equation 3. So that since we have x as 1, we can obtain the value of y now. So we say y is equal to 3x. Y is equal to 3 multiplied by 1 because x is 1. Y is equal to 3 multiplied by 1. And that gives us y is equal to 3. So we now have the sets of values from what we have solved so far. So when x is 0, y is 1 over 2. As obtained in the first set of uh, substitution there. When x is 0, y is half. Or when x is 1, y is 3. As obtained in this second part now. When x is 1, y is 3. So we can also write this in the form of coordinate like this. S and y coordinate. When x is 0, y is half. And when x is 1, y is 3. As the final answer. So please subscribe to this channel. So that you can get more detailed video of me explaining the content of my textbook. Thank you for watching.